Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. I hope you went through this playlist IT support job readiness and career knowledge. This is the last video that we are going to show you how to get started now. You went through the, the first video of understanding what this career is about, how we name this career with titles, different type of in-demand skills and descriptions and skills that you really need. And then lastly, you understood how to use your resume. If you missed this, all of these videos, then of course the last video will make no sense because everything is connected like a story, just like how your resume should be. So I hope and I strongly suggest that you please go over all of these videos from top to bottom. So now let's get started. How do you start? I mean, this is the biggest question that many, many people will ask other professionals or you will be asking. So many times people will tell you this information is available on Google. You can find anything on Google. In IT, you can find anything on Google. Absolutely right. But when it comes to education, this is a problem right now. Google, it's, it's in its own. If you want to learn something specifically like this, you need something what we are doing on the left side where you are targeting every single thing in a very clean format. Now, Google is not something that I would recommend people to go and just start Googling things and you will find your solutions like learning solutions. You will find many, many different type of communities and platforms but then every community will be targeting their own agenda right just like job skill share has its own agenda and that is to make sure that a newbie is less stressful a newbie is not in basically they understand how to take information from other professionals without getting stuck or getting confused because that other professional may think that they are right absolutely right now, why am I sharing this image? I'm going to share the source of this image in description. Now, remember, when you are starting IT career, this is a critical moment. Who do you want to follow in IT? Now, when people say I have experience in IT, that's not because they were sitting home for 20 years and learning from courses. They actually went and worked with people, companies and rail systems, real projects. And that is where they come back to you to say that they have experience. Now, as a beginner, that's great for you because you're just gonna learn things from that person very quickly, but this is where something that you should know and how it works in IT. There are different type of groups in IT and I'm just giving you this information. Some people may like it, some people will have thin skins and this will probably pierce through them and they will burst out, that's fine. My job is to actually tell you the information and then you can use your common sense and take your own route. So you will talk to people in IT that I want to become an IT professional and then they will give you their way of learning, but they will reject every other single thing that happens in this career. So for example, when people ask us, should I start A plus? We tell them, yes, A plus is a great certification. It's a foundation, but use it in a way that you can learn skills with it that are missing. And that is all we are telling people. But then you will have a professional come to you and say, nope, you should really not consider the other things, just stick to A plus and everything is good to go. And that's where they will get into conversation or they will get into fights or challenges. Now this is where you know that that person belongs to this group on the left side. Because that person basically went through 15 years of their life in four or five companies and they think that they know the whole world that way. And they may have really good information, so just take the positive information from this type of people and then convert yourself into this, this area where you have sympathy, you have love, you have unity, you have forgiveness, you are working and working in other people with tolerance. So don't get into this area where you have pride kicks in. I know this, I know that, I know I can do this stuff, I can do that stuff, I can change this into that and wow, you know, something like that. That's not something you want to be. Now, of course, I'm not saying you shouldn't praise yourself. You should definitely do that. That's not a bad thing. But do it in a way that you can actually help other people rather than, you know, just me, me, me. And then if somebody challenges you or somebody tells you, hey, 
you're saying all this meme stuff, but what about the other people that are doing so much hard work and they are actually successfully doing it? They will reject that immediately because they don't believe in that. So that's fine. That's also their own choices. They're, they're, they're free to make these choices too, but you also have your own choices. Don't let this type of community walk over you. That's what I'm telling people. And use your own common sense. So because when you're starting an IT career, this is really going to shape how you're going to learn things. And that's my focus, right? I want to make sure that you are stress-free. You're learning things in a nice and easy way in IT. People have made it so complicated. People have made their own routes, and that's fine. Like I said at the end, please use your common sense. And when you're looking at conversation, just look at this image and look where the conversation is going. Is this person really helping you or this person just telling you straight up no's and disrespecting you immediately? Probably just, uh, you know, move on from that person. That's the best way you can um, actually proceed in this career. So I'm not going to talk too much about this because that's something you can go to Reddit or some other communities and find uh, what is the issue in this career and you'll find out. But I gave you a tip. I think you will follow it. I'm sure you're going to be in the right side of this. So let's move on on how to get actually started on JobSkiller Share with your first course. When it comes to IT learning, and if we are claiming that we're going to be teaching you skills that are going to be used in the real world environment, this is where you need to make some decisions on how do you want to learn skills. So we have three memberships for you, free level, plus level, and premium level. Now in the free level, when you register, when you go to jobskillshare.org, click on register button and fill out your information, then you will get into this page. Now in the free session, in the free membership, you basically can start from here by clicking on start your journey and here you have the full learning path. But this is where the confusion is. When you click on the start self-paced program, people will start with the first free course, which is step one, IT Fundamental V1.0. And then you will click on go to course. But then here, if you want to go to this course, this is not available for free. So then how is this free program? Well, this is where we have created a separate page where we put all of the free courses in a sequence. So this is a full program that people have finished and even landed jobs just by finishing these courses. So if you go to the jobskillshare.org slash free after when you log in, you see now this is where the same course is available. Second one is free. This is a very big course. Then you have third one. Then you have fourth one, fifth one. And at the end, we will tell you how to apply for jobs and everything. Now, the cool thing about this page is that we also share external resources that we think are good for your career, like from Microsoft, IT Support Fundamentals, Communication, Hardware Essentials, and many more courses are available over here. And on top of that, we are in the community, basically. We work with other professionals like KevTech. He has a really great channel. You guys should check it out. And basically, we work together in communities to share knowledge and guide people. Now, how do you actually join these communities? So I'll share the links below, but we are we have a Discord community where basically people come in every day and ask for help uh, for you know their career and things like that. So basically what you need to do is go to your description and, and join the communities. And here is the main thing. You wanna make sure you click on welcome, read all this stuff, and then make sure to watch these videos. And then you go to the chit chat area where you can actually see that there are people uh, you know, talking to each other like real professionals, try to make friends over there. You can connect with other professionals right here. And then in this community, you're, you're basically kind of live and working with other people. So then you're gaining information very quickly. But in, on the top, you're coming back to learning again. You will click on learn on website. And here you go, you got all this information available right here. And for you to get more confidence I highly recommend you go to the career services and click on success stories. This is where we shared a bunch of many, many people have actually shared their stories, how they have landed a job by just completing the cert, uh, just completing the courses without certifications, without degree, without any knowledge. First jobs landed just like that. So many people come on here and then share their way of landing the job. And that's why I said in the beginning that there is no one way 
our way is just adding more to it from our experience and adding it in a more of a course method so then you can be in a course and kind of like learn these skills in a very easy way step by step without getting lost or without getting into like i said in conversations or something like that but again um, at the end this is how you start your courses but if you're interested in the paid version so what's the difference between plus and premium so plus is basically we're creating more content like video content and you know when we give out labs and premium membership we basically built videos on top of these labs so there's so much content available and then we also have a partner that gives 200 plus courses certification courses in this program so we're not just a community that gives you one two courses we're actually giving you a whole program so then you can finish off everything in one membership Premium membership is, of course, this is the main membership, and this is the where you basically learn hands-on practice. So we give library access of Practice Lab. Usually a lot of platforms use modular access from Practice Lab. We use library. We just give you the whole access, and then whichever lab you think is good for your job, when you land a job, you'll find out that, okay, we are using a lot of uh, uh, servers, server 2012 or 2016, then you can get into these labs and actually perform hands-on learning. And that's where we're working in our community, in our uh, on our website, we're making it better and better to, to kind of uh, combine these two things. So this is our lab dashboard. Basically, if you have a active premium membership, then you will have an account with us right here. Now, remember, you need to have an active premium membership with labs you may see that you're a premium member but it may have expired so you do have to renew your premium membership if you want to access labs again now for someone who is new and just became a premium member sometimes it takes time for verification and when that has happened we basically add the account right here all you have to do is to come over here make sure that your account exists you will have a password right here and then this is a domain all you have to do is to click on this link, use the username, password, and domain, and then basically log into the practice lab. So we'll click on this link. And just like that, you will put username, password, and domain, and you'll click on login. As a premium member, you have library access from practice lab, which means that you have full access to all labs that are available in this portal for one year. And any new lab that will get added you will have access to it. For example, MD101 was just recently added. It's a brand new lab. Then it's right here as a premium access. But if your access is expiring, and let's say you have only one month remaining, it will get added, but that doesn't mean you will get another one year of this lab. You will have to still renew your membership on the right time. Now, this is a great access, but you may think, is there only one course available in Cisco? In Practice Lab, they only show you the current certification labs just like that. But if you want to open other labs that they have covered, click on Show Retired Titles and you will see a lot of Cisco courses. Now, do keep in mind that some of these courses and labs will be older, but we are a skills-based platform. We love that. Why is that? Because as an engineer or a sysadmin or even a help desk technician, you don't just go to a business and work on a brand new technology. Now it's good to know and learn, but in reality, if you want to land a job, people will ask you, do you know how to upgrade a server from 2012 to 2016? Right now, they're not going to ask you about 2019 server. They will just ask you something like that, that's older to new, and you need to learn this stuff in reality. So this is a great benefit to us because we can just come over here if you are interested in new certifications and you want to do that hands-on learning, then you can pick on each certification, whichever you like. You can say CompTIA+, but if you feel like you want to learn something more to upgrade your skills, then maybe you want to click on this button and make sure you go over the older labs and see some upgrade videos, upgrade courses, even from Linux, any other things that you're interested in. Now, I will warn you, and this is for the new professionals who are trying to get the first job. This is too much access. This is huge access. You don't want to get lost in this. So make sure you use your learning path and go by that. If you don't know still, you need some help, make sure to contact us and let us know and we'll help you pick the lab for you. If you are in the position where you want to transition, 
then contact us. We'll tell you which lab to take. Maybe that will help you with sysadmin or network engineering or security labs. Now, of course, we cannot cover every single thing over here. Neither practice lab can cover. They are covering a lot step by step and all these labs are getting added. But there will be many labs like in cloud-based systems. They, it will not be available in this system. So make sure to contact us before you purchase this access. How to start practice lab. Click on the lab that you would like to start. And then on the left side, read the description. These are the guides. Basically, you'll click on the lab guide. And here is all the information about this lab. Click on start. As soon as you click on start, each lab module will have its own machines like domain controller, Windows 10. And to start a machine, you just need to click on the machine right here. Click on power on. You will give it some time because these are real machines, real virtual machines or real hardware. Both will take time. So as you can see, it's coming up. And now on the left side, you have the, the outcome. And basically, it's kind of geared towards certification. But it's great that you can have the, this listed. And here you go. On the right side, you have the machines on, on right now. And you can move forward to the next uh, task by clicking on next here. And you can see I can just go all the way to the exercise task step by step with screenshots. If you don't want to see this left side, click on the panel right here. And now you have the screen with you like that. You can have other options over here too. Reconnecting is right here. So if, if the lab is disconnected, simply click on this reconnect option and this will get connected. Sometimes you may want to remove the auto login so you can log in with the you know different type of logins. You can remove it from here. Now here is your uh, device. You can hide this. Here's the information about this device where you can see the password information, the IP address, the Windows operating system, the state. And if you want to reset the lab, you can come over here, power off, reboot, reset, suspend, refresh. Now the big thing over here is that the time is 60 minutes in each module. So you can click on this module again, like you see how just I made from 58 to 60. So if you're one minute away, you can do that and come back to 60 again. Now, remember, we are also creating videos on top of some of these labs, which are really important for the help desk site. And that's CompTIA Plus and the other courses. We have already created some. So if you go back to your JavaScript share dashboard and you click on practice lab, practice IT, learn with labs. Here you go. You have this new feature available where you can open the same lab just like that uh, and then click on full screen then here we have designed some of the videos where you may take in the beginning like uh, each module will have its own video here and on the right side if you click on the search videos we have created videos on top of these tasks so you can actually use this feature if you want to be very uh, uh, much looking at the video and learn it at the same page you don't want to move out of this page if you don't like all these features and buttons and everything just straight go to the practice lab and just perform action right here and if you want to watch the video you can go back to that section again um, we are creating a lot of new features just contact us if you are stuck now remember practice lab is is its own platform we're not going to provide any support inside the labs so if the lab has a task issue it's not working correctly then you'll either have to wait restart it make sure you do the basic troubleshooting by clicking over here you can see they have some support section and then they have a ticket option over here too you can directly send them a ticket they will help you out we will not be supporting any lab task inside and the best way to do this is to watch the video in this feature right here just watch that and then come back over here and make sure that you're not doing any mistake but if you do have any issues with the task you will have to contact practice lab directly